Hi guys. Well, do you believe we have made it? Unbelievably, we have stumbled into the last day. The last day of 2020. We have survived and it is now Thursday, December 31st, 2020. I do not believe it. <coughs> and, oh yes, this is Sam Mitchell and you are on Collapse Chronicles. And, uh, well, guys, I, I'm just going to do it because it is the last day. I am going to make a New Year's resolution. Uh, all right, let me just spit out the New Year's resolution. I'm trying to figure out how to order things to wrap up this year. After this video, this closing video of 2020, I will never mention the C word corona panic on this channel again. I'm, I'm done with it. Uh, I have said from day one, this is a bad hair day compared to what is coming down the pike. So with one big asterisk, I am going to start up my interviews here probably in about three weeks after the reign of King Donald comes to an end. Uh, I'm hoping to start up the interviews. I cannot guarantee you that people I'm interviewing will not mention the corona panic. Okay, so with that exception, I, I am never going to bring up the subject again. Uh, I am going to turn over my final commentary of the year to uh, my friend and fellow collapsitarian Deb Ozarko, who is going to share with us the single most spot on, cogent, and above all poignant summation and analysis of the corona panic which is coming up in a minute but uh i've got uh let's see one announcement and then my own little final corona panic rant and then we will let deb ozarko close out 2020. okay guys uh my announcement to wrap up this year, Sancho Panza has been kidnapped uh, by this fellow, the, this mythical, I don't know who this guy is, some guy named Hambone Littletail has kidnapped Sancho Panza and is holding him for ransom. This, this Hambone Littletail he has a channel, or used to have a channel, called Humpty Dumpty Society or something. But anyway, uh, th this idiot, I, I have listened to this guy a couple of times. I have no idea why anyone would pay attention to anything this foul-mouthed, loud mouth has to say about anything on the planet. But for some reason, I keep apparently getting confused with this idiot or whatever. I don't know why some of you think that I, uh, that I, Sam Mitchell, uh, have anything to do with this dude. But anyway, uh, in order to get my dog back, I have agreed to pass on this message. This hambone little tail idiot says if anybody wants to hear one word he has to say about <clears throat> anything, <clears throat> that he is going to be cranking up his channel over there on Vimeo <clears throat> called the Hambone Little Tail channel which will be cranking up, I guess, any time. I don't know for sure. I guess uh, coming up here pretty soon. I don't know. I don't care if anybody 
wants to hear one word that idiot has to say about anything, they can go over to Vimeo.com and subscribe to the Hambone Little Tail channel. And, and that's all I'm going to say about that. And he did, the last word, he, he did want me to send out a warning to people on this channel that a major subject he will be discussing on the Vimeo Hambone Little Tail channel is the Corona Panic. So, if you want to hear what Hambone Little Tail has to say about the Corona Panic, go over there and uh, I'm done with it. Give me my dog back, you idiot. Okay, but with that, uh, speaking of the Corona Panic, I'm just going to have one this is Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles. I don't know whether Hambone Little Tail would agree with this or not. He probably would, uh, for all I know. And uh, th th this is my final, the final rant I am going to do on this, uh, on this subject. And then we're going to let Deb Ozarko speak. Okay, you might have heard that a, that they have that Johns Hopkins. Uh, Bloomberg School of Public Health has developed an online calculator, an online calculator to help you see for yourself what are your chances of dying from COVID. You go on this little calculator uh, and you plug in some variables and they will tell you what your chances of dying from the corona panic are. So just for a little bit of reference, uh, I heard uh, Tom Hartman, who now interchangeably uses the terms Republican and anti-masker, that the only people who don't wear a mask are Republican anti-science Trump tards. You cannot not be a Republican and not wear a mask, according to Tom Hartman. But Tom Hartman, I don't know, quoting who, probably Johns Hopkins or the CDC, was saying a few days ago that the national average of people dying from the corona panic in the United States is 47 <coughs> per 100,000. 47 per 100,000, you know, which he was talking about is the biggest catastrophe to befall humanity uh, since the uh, plague, the bubonic plague wiped out one third of the population of Europe. So anyway, if you don't know what that means, 47 out of 100,000 means nationally averaged that 99.953% of the population of the United States has not died of corona panic. 99.953% of the population. And then another thing you might want to keep uh, in perspective here going into 2021, is there are roughly 334 million people in the United States. So when you hear <clears throat> that we have hit 334,000 deaths, okay, when you hear this statistic that we have hit 334,000, understand what that means is that we have hit uh, zero point zero one I'm thinking if my math is correct that uh, that means that when we hit three hundred and thirty four thousand that ninety nine point nine percent of the United States population has not died from corona panic and I'm not even going to get into age and underlying conditions. So anyway, just with that as a backdrop, that 47 per 100,000 
uh, is, is the national average uh, for this exploding pandemic. Uh, <clears throat> so I did the calculator. I am a 61-year-old white male living right now in north central Florida. Uh, I am 5 feet 9 inches tall and weigh 160 pounds. I am not obese. I do not smoke. I have no other underlying conditions. Okay, so I did the calculator on myself and I came out as lower than average, even though I'm 61, I, am, I have a lower than average because it is 3.8 per 100,000 that I am my, you know, per 100,000 people in my zip code, uh, I have a 3.8 people out of 100,000 chance dying. Uh, so in other words, uh, <clears throat> my chance of not dying from corona panic is 9962 is it 99.962 or is it 99.9962% of not dying of corona panic? It's one of those two. Uh, 99.9, I think it's 9962. I, I had the math done unfortunately, and, and didn't keep my figures. So anyway, so then I, I changed some parameters. Instead of being a 61-year-old <clears throat> white man uh, with no underlying conditions, who does not smoke and is not obese, I changed some parameters on, the, uh, on their calculator. I am now an 82-year-old black man living in Miami, Florida, one of the red hot zones, one of the red hot zones of Corona panic. I smoke cigarettes. I have asthma. I have diabetes. I have heart disease and I have arthritis. These are all, oh, and of course I'm obese. Instead of 5 foot 9 and 160, I am 5'9 and 240 pounds. So I am an 82 year old black male obese smoker with asthma, heart disease, diabetes, and arthritis. So I, I did, uh, I found out, so my chance, I, I skyrocketed, I skyrocketed from low to very high, and I actually came out to, I have, for every 1,000 people in my zip code in Miami, three of us, and, uh, you know, with my parameters, are going to die so that makes it, if I'm doing, if it's 3 per 1,000, it's 300 per 100,000. So my, so now my chance being very high of dying, one of the highest risk groups on the planet probably, my chance of not dying from the corona panic is... What would that be? Uh, well, uh, what did I say? Three. That means that 99,700 99, people, you know, with my parameters in Miami will not die of corona panic. Otherwise, the definition of a very high very high risk of dying from corona panic 
is according to Johns Hopkins University, Tom Hartman, NPR, and all the rest of the gang is 99.7% chance of not dying of the corona panic. You will, you, <clears throat> that is the definition of a very high chance of uh, dying of the corona panic, zero point, whatever that is, three or oh three. Anyway, I've had enough of it. Uh, anybody who wants to spend their lives uh, making the corona panic the central focus of their life, go ahead. But with that, and, and with that, uh, it, it that, that's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, I, I guess this ham bone little tail idiot over there at Humpty Dumpty Tribe can take over from here, but we are going to close 2020 with the single most spot on, cogent, and above all poignant summation of the corona panic I have ever read in my entire life. And this is written by my friend and uh, fellow uh, collapsitarian Deb Ozarko. If you are not familiar with Deb Ozarko, I've interviewed Deb a couple of times. You can go find my interviews with Deb here in the Collapse Chronicles vault. She has a, I guess her website is just Deb Ozarko, O Z A R K O dot com. Deb Ozarko, and, and I don't want to put words in her mouth, but like, I have about 20 virulent anti masker friends, including Deb, and uh, I would say, with the exception of one of them, not one of us voted for Donald Trump. Okay, so 19 of the 20 of us in, in our little gang despise the ground Donald Trump walks on. And I'm assuming so does Deb Ozarko. I don't want to put words in her mouth. Deb Ozarko is not a right-wing, Trump-tard, anti-science conspiracy wacko. She is as far as you can get from who Tom Hartman characterizes a, a what are, what does he call them, COVIDiots, corona panic deniers. Deb Ozarko is as far as you can get from any of that. Uh, Deb Ozarko is a very intelligent, educated woman who knows how to look at the facts on the table, apply a little bit of discernment, critical thinking, and plain old common sense to reach this conclusion. And uh, this was uh, Deb's email to me. You know, I sent her the link about my new hip camp that I've opened down here in Florida, you know, and I make it clear in that listing that my hip camp is mask optional. I tell people that it is mask optional that I, as the host, do not wear a mask and do not require anybody camping here to wear a mask. And this was Deb Ozarko's response to that. And this is going to close out 2020 because this is the best summation not only of the corona panic, but it also summarizes 2020 as eloquently as anything I have ever written. Take it away, Deb Ozarko. <clears throat> Congrats on your lovely looking Florida swampland. If I, she's Canadian, if I can ever travel again without being forcibly inoculated with poison and who knows what the hell else, I will be there. I am so happy to hear that you are mask free. This ridiculous story of 
paranoia, polarization, isolation, and deluded entrancement is brutal. It has turned critical thinkers like ourselves who can clearly see the holes in the Swiss cheese narrative into folks who need to be exceedingly mindful of how they move through the world. The entranced mass collective have become snitches and witch burners toward anyone who challenges their belief in this ridiculous story. I can honestly say that I don't feel safe around most people these days. Adolf Hitler said it best in his autobiography, Mein Kampf. Quoting Adolf, this is Deb Ozarko quoting Adolf Hitler. I never thought I would re uh, live to see the day, but Deb Ozarko is now quoting Adolf Hitler. Quote, tell a lie so colossal that no one could believe that someone would have the impudence to distort the truth so infamously, close quote. Back to Deb Ozarko, humanity has really bought into this global lie. So many people I once knew as friends have become shadows of who they once were. So afraid of natural body responses, coughing, sneezing, hugs. The cult of COVID has won. We live among ghosts, and they are not friendly spirits either. Ain't no vaccine for that. Thank you, Deb Ozarko, for more eloquently wording Sam Mitchell's opinion of the corona panic of anybody I have ever read in my entire life. I do hope to have Deb back on the show at some point here in 2021. We will try not to talk about the corona panic. But anyway, guys, so for all of the subscribers I just lost with this, for all of the down votes, for all of the hate mail that I will get, that Deb Ozarko uh, we'll get uh, all I can say to you and everybody else is Happy New Year, May 2021. Bring us some peace. And I don't know what else to say. I will see you next year with my... Uh, I will do my collapsitarian predictions for 2021 tomorrow to kick off 2021. See you next year. Bye, guys.